I studied civil engineering, it's completely unrelated and useless for me. However, it is instrumental in shaping me to what I am. Had I studied anything else, I would be something very different. I don't know whether that something different would be better or worse. And I don't want to um, speculate. What I'm like playing with uh, right now, I'm into robotics. Um, I wouldn't call it necessarily cutting edge um, or, you know, very brand new. But for me, it's, it's relatively new. And I'm interested in how I can use robotics in visual arts, whether it is, you know, whether this be by putting lights on them, doing special photography, using them to paint, um, but just being able to use precision, or maybe not precision, if you're using flying robots, moving through space. So it's a new way of navigating through space for me. Oh, the biggest thing would definitely be dealing with clients and funding. That's the, the biggest thing I learned is unfortunately not related to what I actually do, but everything around it, which is dealing with institutions, organizations, what types of partnerships there are out there. Um, it's stuff which is difficult to articulate in, in a sentence or two, but it's just, yeah, the, the various different institutions that are out there that can be helpful. Design is trying to find a solution to a problem, often other people's problems. Um, I don't see art having the burden of having to try and find a solution to other people's problems at all. It, it depends a lot on laws. I don't think the limiting factor is going to be technological developments. I think the constraints and guidance is going to be what laws are passed regarding ethics because I think we've, we've reached a stage where technology is beginning to really encroach upon what we consider to be ethical or natural and it depends on what decisions are made in you know in the courts on what is allowed and what isn't allowed for example I can easily imagine a future in 20 years we have the technology now it's just not available to the public and it's not really allowed but you know we can modify dna we can you know we can make goats right now that spider silk comes out of their udders you know this has been around for like for years so if this is allowed to carry on exploring in 20 years we could have people who are generating their own electricity as actually um cohen showed earlier so it's difficult to imagine because I think of the, where ethics will, be, will go. If anything is going to save the world, I think art is. Definitely not technology. Um, I said it on my panel, I'm not a techno enthusiast. I'm not a techno optimist. I'm not a techno hater. If anything, I'm a techno nihilist. Um, Technology will not save the world. The only thing that can save the world is us, humans. And art is about us. So I think if anything can save the world, it is art. Uh, biggest career advice is meeting people and meeting the right people because that's, that won't allow you to make good art. I mean, that, that let's, we have to separate the two things. There's making good work, and then there's getting the opportunity to make work. Yeah, you just need to meet people, and it's a slow process. For me, it took many, many years, I mean, many, many, many years to, and it was really the internet which helped me meet the right people. A lot of people do it very differently. They don't use the internet, they use institutions they will go to an established institution where really more than learning about making good work, they're, as well as learning about making good work, they're learning 
about meeting people, and they are meeting people. So that's a strategy which just cannot be overlooked.